This video is going to focus on why atoms have equal numbers of protons and electrons. So if we were to draw an uh, atom of lithium, for example, which has three protons, four neutrons, and three electrons, you can work out the charges of each of the subatomic particles. So you have three protons, three positives, three electrons, three negatives. But the question is, why? And the main thing to realize is by having three protons, which are three positives, three electrons, which are three negatives, it makes the overall atom neutral. Anything that is not neutral is something that is known as an ion, and that is something that is positively or negatively charged. If it's positive or negative, it is electrostatically charged, and that means the atoms, the ions, are attracted to each other. If it's neutral, if it's an atom, they are not attracted to each other, and there is no electrostatic attraction. Okay, let's have a look at a quick question then. Uh, so this one is, an atom has six protons and six electrons. Explain why it does not have an electrostatic charge. So think about the protons and electrons, think about the charge they have, and think about the number. Pause the video, have a go at the question, and then we'll go through it in a minute. Okay, so there are quite a few ways you can get the mark here, and it's all about talking about the charges involved. So the first key point is to turn around and say you've got six protons, therefore six pluses, and six electrons, which gives you six minuses. And then that would probably only get you one mark in the natural exam. For now, I'm giving you a mark for each. The overall charge would be zero, because six plus, six minus cancels each other out to give you zero. And therefore, we turn around and say it's neutral, and there's no attraction, no electrostatic attraction. Okay, if you feel as though you've got the hang of that, have a go at the review question, which is work out the number of positive and negative charges for lithium, which is three protons and three electrons, and explain why it is neutral. That's the end of this video.